Thousand Autumns, is a Meng Shishi novel. This is an audiobook made by fans for other fans. Disclaimer. The main couple of the story is made up of two men, if you don't like it don't listen. Thank you. Remember. Subscribe and click the bell to stay updated on all the new releases. Enjoy. Chapter 89 If you are just passing by, please go elsewhere, said Shen Chiao. Although the other party did not show his true face, he looked a little familiar based on his body shape. Shen Chiao could not confirm who he was. He once heard Yan Wushi talk about some Jiang Hu rules. When walking outside, it is inevitable that there will be young people hiding on the roof of the inn at night, maybe he waited for the guests to start, steal money, or have other ulterior motives. Seeing you have high martial arts or a strong background, you are generally afraid to start. Shen Chiao's hand lightened up, but anyone with sharp eyes knew that it was powerful and would not easily offend. The other party did not say a word, and did not even wait for him to finish his word to attack. This hand was like a flower picking willows. Shen Chiao thought that it's gentle into the bones, but it's not like the spring water fingering. The palm wind was fluttering and weak, but suddenly it changed in the middle of the road, such as ice and bones, coming to the face. With the roll of the sleeves of Shen Chiao's robe, he completely resolved the palm style. However, the other person's body flickered. When he reached the front, he pointed to the main point on Shen Chiao's wrist with his right hand. Then, he grabbed Shen Chiao's neck with his left hand. Shen Chiao continued to retreat, slamming his sleeves on the shore like a shocking wave, and re-tapping the opponent's left hand. The left hand turned flexibly, slipping out of the opponent's clamping range, and grasping the opponent in turn. Yan Wushi. Shen Chiao asked tentatively because the hands looked a little familiar, but the martial arts path was completely different. The other person still didn't answer. They just kept reaching out and attacked, but the other side didn't seem to settle down to death. The two sides were talking rather than fighting each other. One trick and one pattern are very particular about it. Shen Chiao was also more knowledgeable than before. At least he knows the martial arts of various sects. For a master like him, as long as he has seen a similar style, he will not forget it, but the other person's moves were like antelopes. No trace can be found. The first move seemed to come from the pure mountain view of Qing Chen Mountain, but the second move seemed to have a magic gate style, which is puzzling. A martial arts master was not necessarily a combative person, but he must be a strong person. He was willing to pursue martial arts. Shen Chiao's temper was calm and contentious. Even when he met opponents who are quite fanciful and can't understand the origin, he wanted to play against each other. Shen Chiao now has more experience in Jiang Hu, and will no longer easily take off his guard. Naturally, he also prevented the other party from chanting Yuan's song, who intends to sleep in the room. His martial arts had reached a certain level, and the sound of the other person can be judged only by the sound of breathing. Shen Chiao was also similar. Although he was fighting here, he still left a trace of mind, tied to Yuan's song. At this time, the other person was dormant, neither one even was aware of a fight on the roof. The two sides have done several tricks, each failed to do their best, the other side's purpose is unknown, but the tricks are often innovated, it is unpredictable, Shen Chiao took advantage of it, directly caught his power fence, the black yarn was caught in the hands, the other side then the true colors of the Chinese are exposed. It was really Yan Wuxi. Why did sect leader Yan come? Shen Chiao frowned. Ah Chiao, you are really ruthless. I almost died because of Sang Jing seeing for you, but you were still a cold sect leader Daozang. 
Yan Wushi laughed, but there was no strangeness like before. Have you remembered? Shen Qiao asked in a hurry, he had already prepared for his complete loss of memory. Who knew that Yan Wushi's opening was the same as before? Shen Qiao couldn't help but stunned, followed by a slight movement in their hands paused. It was during this moment that the other's fingers had tapped his shoulders. Then, Shen Qiao fell softly into the arm that Yan Wushi extended in time. SHH. Yan Wushi made a gesture. Then, he said with a smile, Don't be nervous, I'll take you somewhere. Without waiting for the other side to react, Yan Wushi clicked on Shen Qiao's ache appointment again. It was extremely skillful. Shen Qiao was not low-minded, but he didn't know why he was enlightened. Before waiting for him to be upset, Yan Wushi had already lifted him horizontally and flew from the roof of the inn to another place. His black clothing and night blend into one, even if there is an additional person in his hand, it does not hinder his speed. Yuan Song was still in the inn. Shen Qiao couldn't speak, but Yan Wushi seemed to be able to read his voice. The Yuan family is inconceivable after Yuan Xian is gone. Except Yuan Yun who had killed everyone, no one will kill Yuan Qilang seriously. He had just killed Yuan Xian and wanted to please the emperor while he was hitting the iron. Now it's useless to take him back thousands of miles, said Yan Wushi. The implication is that Yuan Song, who has been far away from the capital, is safe. Upon hearing these words, Shen Qiao knew that Yan Wushi had not lost his memory at all, let alone that his temperament had changed, but he didn't know what had happened in the middle. Why did he laugh with Huang Lingxin before? Many questions not only follow Yan Wushi's reappearance after he disappeared, but more and more. Yan Wushi didn't mean to explain. At least he didn't have the intention to explain it right now. He hugged Shen Qiao and flew around on the roof of the house. After a while, he was far away from the guest house. Although his body couldn't move, his eyes finally could see. After a while, Shen Qiao suddenly realized that Yan Wushi's destination seemed to be the Huang family's house they had visited during the day. Let's go to a good show, but you are not allowed to move or I will not take you out to play in the future, said Yan Wushi. His tone was very relaxed, like just coaxing a child. But, no matter how good Shen Qiao's temper, he couldn't help rolling his eyes. The Huang family's house was not a small house. There were guards and patrols outside the door, but the martial arts of these people have not yet reached the level where they can be the same with Yan Wushi. Yan Wushi held Shen Qiao all the way into some place where there's no one there. The way he walked was no different than walking around his own backyard. Shen Qiao noticed that the place where he settled down should be the backyard of the garden where the birthday feast was held in the day. Previously, Shen Qiao met Guang Lingxin and Yan Wushi at the rockery. To reach this yard they had to walk around the rockery for a while. It should be near the pond. Yan Wushi did not stay on the roof like he did on the guest house. He chose dense trees near the pond. This was in the dead corner. By the shadow of the colonnade and the tree, he can completely hide his body. To be exact, with the martial arts of the two, they can naturally adjust their breathing, and they were not likely to be discovered. The house next to the wall was burning with candle light. The faint swaying light was exposed through the gaps in the window along with the shattered speech. Shen Qiao didn't know the purpose of Yan Wushi bringing himself here. Why he seemed to listen to something from the corner. After waiting for a while, he didn't seem to be able to unlock the acupuncture point. He sharpened his ears to listen to the movement in the room. The voice was very low, but he could still hear a little bit when he used the internal force. There was someone's panting, sometimes with some teasing. Oh, someone groaned, 
his voice greeted softly. Although Shen Qiao had never experienced the intimacy of men and women, he even had never eaten pork, he always knew the name of a pig. When he heard the movement here, how can he not know what they are doing? Dao people always pay attention to cleanliness and self-confidence. However, if they want to practice double cultivation, there are also the ways of dual cultivation. There is no obvious taboo here. It is different from Buddhism, but they must abstain from color and abstinence. Maybe some people will be happy to listen to others' bedtime, but a modest gentleman like Shen Qiao was not like that. He was uncomfortable at the moment, and he couldn't wait to break the block of his ache appointment and turn away. As if aware of his thoughts, Yan Wushi locked again his two main points from behind, completely eliminating Shen Daozang's intention. The adulterer sees the adulterer, and the cleaner just self-cleans up, Shen Daozang, said Yan Wushi. In a leisurely tone, he penetrated Shen Qiao's ears through the voice, making Shen Qiao quite speechless. Good things were happening in the house at this moment. The woman was naked. The jade body was slender. The long legs were attached to the man's waist. They were weak and boneless, making the man even more addicted to it and quickening the rhythm of cultivation. Yun Niang, Yun Niang. The man repeatedly called off the woman's nickname underneath, sweating because of the strength of her whole body, her voice panting, and grinning coarsely. Although you are older than me, I never thought taking off your clothes was so ecstasy. If I had known so. Due to the acupuncture point Chen Qiao was unable to move. He could only listen with his ears. Yan Wushi placed Chen Qiao next to the wall. He was standing against the opponent, seemingly supporting the opponent's weight. He wasn't idle either. He originally stopped Chen Qiao's arm and began to walk slowly. He was whispering in Shen Qiao's ear. Ah, I don't think she might be ecstatic, but it's just a neutral figure. Compared to your waist ratio, she's fine. The spring night was cold, but Shen Qiao's internal force was gradually recovering. He won't be as cold as before. He just wore a robe. At this time, with a thin layer of material, the temperature of the other party seems to be ironed directly on his skin and burning hot. Achiao, why are you shaking? Are you wearing too little? Yan Wushi bit his ear and said with a smile. He almost trapped his whole body in his arms. I will not shake if you let me go. Shen Qiao was secretly annoyed, whether it was because of shame or embarrassment, his face was getting hotter. The conversation inside the room continued. What if I knew it this way? The woman's tone was a little hoarse, but she added a touch of charm. If I knew that, I would have kicked you into bed earlier. The man laughed, quite proud, how is your kung fu's bed in comparison to me? As soon as the three words of Do Bangzo came to his ears, Shen Qiao immediately awoke, no longer paying attention to Yan Wushi's teasing. He focused on listening to the conversation between the two. Yan Wushi secretly said, unfortunately. He did not continue to move. The woman yelled, little nonsense, I am not half ambiguous with him. Now how could you do this kind of thing if you didn't see me when you were always here? Are you the deceitful arrogant because you are my deputy gang leader? She is Vice Chairman Yun, Yun Fliai. Shen Qiao had previously felt that the woman's voice was somewhat familiar, but he could not remember it for a while. It was only because the other party reported herself, and then she awakened the dreamer. Isn't the other person Yun Fliai who he had met once at Beyond Clouds Monastery? When the man heard her speech with a little anger, he quickly laughed. I said nothing. I said nothing. Don't be angry, I can learn from you. After a short speech, the room was full of spring again. 
Shen Jiao could not care about the embarrassment, and the only thing played back in his mind was the conversation. The man's voice was relatively young, and he certainly was not the owner of the Huang family who just held the birthday party today. He may be the second or even the third generation. Although the Huang family had money, it's also a famous family in the local area, but not in the martial arts. It's only ordinary, and family martial arts are even more mediocre. Why does Yun Fui appear here? Does she have something to do with it? Taking a step 10,000 back, Yan Wushi took him over to listen to the corner of the sky for a long time, it must be not to witness the love of this man and woman. But, Yan Wushi didn't give him much time to think. He stopped him and hugged him again. Then, he walked around in the garden, crossed the rockery, and came to the garden stove. At three in the middle of the night, this place was naturally quiet, there was no smell of food or cooking smoke. In fact, except for the men and women who just ran to the garden to have an affair, the Huang family basically live in the main house next door, where there was also a stove room. The host family and the female family members also have their own kitchenettes. The restaurant from the outside was also called during the day birthday party. The stove room here was equivalent with the restaurant to the furnishings, but rarely visited. Yan Wushi put Shen Qiao down and unlocked his acupuncture points. Shen Qiao finally restored his freedom. Naturally, it was impossible for him to yell or turn around and run. At this time, he felt that there's a purpose the other party had brought him, so he followed him. He walked behind Yan Wushi and opened the door of the stove room then went in. What did you find? Yan Wushi suddenly uttered a voice without looking back. Shen Qiao thought for a moment, and said, It's neatly packed here, so it's rarely used. Yan Wushi shook his head. He said, No one has used it for a long time. The doors and windows have been closed tightly, but it doesn't feel strange when you come in. Shen Qiao clearly realized the problem he was talking about. He asked, does it mean that people often come in here? Yan Wushi answered, yes. He came to the bottom of the stove room and lifted the iron pot without much effort. However, it wasn't the stove that often burned wood, but an entrance to the black hole. Yan Wushi held the stove top and turned over. Shen Qiao followed closely, and supported the edge of the stone wall with his hands. He thought this would be a deep underpass. He didn't expect to reach the bottom just after jumping down. The room was a bit like a cellar, but without stairs. The flash of light from a fire in Yan Wushi's hands. Shen Qiao looked around, he couldn't help but be surprised. This dark room is not large, at most it is equivalent to a hall. Except for the wall when they came down, the other three sides were neatly placed against many weapons. There were spears, long swords, bows and arrows, and every expert can see at a glance that the wood and iron used to build weapons were all excellent. Roughly calculated, all the weapons here add up to a thousand or two thousand. Even if the Huang family's rich and the number of bodyguards employed in the nursing home was far beyond their needs. Even if it is used to attack the city, it is more than enough already. Shen Qiao could not help but asked, Wang's family wants to rebel. Instead of answering this question, Yan Wushi said, the person who just joined Yun Fui is Huang Fei, who is Huang Zideo's second son. His parents are very sick. This son should inherit the family business in the future. The two went out the same way and put the iron pot back in place. As if they seemed to have never been here, and nothing was left. Out of Huangfu, the two went back to the inn. Runan had a curfew, but for Yan Wushi and Shen Qiao, the curfew was in vain. They had millions of ways to not meet the night patrol group. Ah Chiao, 
All your questions are written on your face. Yan Wushi chuckled. Shen Qiao did have many questions. They were entangled with each other like silk threads, and they were tangled tight. He can only ask from the simplest and most questions wanted to know. How did you get out from Sang Jing scene that day? asked Shen Qiao. Yan Wushi answered, I didn't fight Sang Jing scene at all that day. Shen Qiao thought, did he lie to me that day? Yan Wushi seemed to see his thoughts. I didn't lie to you. I just notified Guang Lingxin in advance before taking you to the ruined temple, and passed on a message to him to make a deal with him. He deliberately paused. Shen Qiao was not really dumb, but was not good at trying to figure out conspiracy and tricks. At this time, following the thought of Yan Wushi, he could figure out the answer. Book of Zhu Yang CE Strategy of Vermilion Will Quite simply, since there is a flaw in Feng Lin Yuan Dian, then those who practice this book will definitely run into this hurdle, so Yan Wushi wants it, and the Hehuan ancestors stare at it. People naturally refuse to let go. Although Guang Lingxin united the other four masters to besiege Yan Wushi, there should be deep hatred between each other. However if it involved human mental calculations, it was not so simple. The three magic gates restrain each other, and the threat of Sang Jing Xin is in sight. It was also reasonable that Yan Wushi chose to temporarily join with Guang Lingxin. Yan Wushi praised, Yes, I told him that if he was willing to help me solve my difficulties, I would pass all the contents of the strategy of Vermilion Will to him. Even if Yan Wushi had some plans, he could not be sure that Guang Lingxin could arrive on time and would come as promised, so he still chose to go alone and leave Shen Qiao in the temple. Even if there is no positive answer, he had already answered Shen Qiao's doubt. For some reason, when I got this answer, my heart seemed to fall down, and it was no longer floating. Yan Wushi joked, it seems you still don't believe me. Do you think I just left you to get out of trouble? Shen Qiao naturally refused to admit that he had shed tears in his back. Lord Yan has always been like this, and he is afraid to watch me from time to time. Yan Wushi chuckled and did not answer. Shen Qiao thought for a while, and asked another question. The people in the magic gate are always suspicious. How can Guang Lingxin be sure that you will give it to him, whether to be the real one, not fake or changed? You've also read the remnants. You should remember that the volume is only a comment on the various martial arts of Sun Moon sect. Tao Hongjing puts out his own understanding of the flaws in the magic heart. There is no martial arts path. I only provide some suggestions for patching the flaws. As long as you are familiar with Sun Moon sex martial arts, you can naturally hear whether the content is complete, whether it is true or not, which is difficult to do, said Yan Wushi. He continued, to put it bluntly, what is recorded there is not a specific martial art. It is not about cultivation. Everyone repairs vulnerabilities according to their own understanding. Whether they can break through the difficulties depends on their personal understanding. This matter is about life and death, even if there is only a glimmer of hope. Huang Lingxin also has to give it a try, after all, no one wants his martial arts to stop forever. Shen Qiao nodded. So, you will appear in the Huang family with Huang Lingxin right? I told him the contents of the remnants, but he couldn't bet his trust on me. Naturally, I had to find the version on Chen Gong's to check again. During this period, I found a place to retreat. I did not expect to hear the news that Yuan Xian was dead as soon as he went out, said Yan Wushi. Shen Qiao sighed, not only that, but Yuan Xian's family was also killed unfairly by Emperor Zhou, who had not been long before the throne, and only Yuan Yun recited a little blood. 
Yan Wushi didn't seem to be half surprising. He then said, Huang Lingsen confirmed the contents of the remnants, and came over to meet me. He told a message that the Run and Huang family kept private soldiers, and secretly colluded with Tuju people. In recent years, there have been troubled times. Today you sit on the throne, and tomorrow he sits on the throne. That was nothing new. In recent decades, the situation in the world has been slightly stable. It was not surprising that if there is someone so ambitious and wants to rebel. Shen Chiao said, although Yuan's killing of Neng Chen was chilling, after all, there was a foundation that Yuan laid for him, and the Zhou Emperor had just swallowed up Qi country. It was during the heyday. The Huang family had a weapon that's enough to pull one or two thousand people, even if they can capture Runan, it is useless to be afraid. Yan Wushi looked weird. You are wrong. The Huang family does not have to rebel, nor is it able to rebel. They are just Tuja dogs. As long as the Tuja people are divided into a few factions and cold, they will not be able to eat or drink. Shen Chiao was a little confused, and couldn't quite understand. Forgiveness is dumb, he said. Yan Wushi continued, as soon as Yuan Zhang died, the Turks lost their enemies. They supported the abolition of the royal family and intended to split the north again. With Yuan Yun's ability, they could not keep their family business. In support of the orthodoxy of the Zhou dynasty, the Huang family will only have to hold Runan to make the imperial court unavailable. Yuan Xian and other good generals have been eliminated by Yuan Zhang. Under these circumstances, the Zhou dynasty was unable to prevent the Qi emperor from resurrecting. Shen Qiao's heart was unlucky in the North Zhou dynasty, what's your intention? Did you not support Yuan Xian's ascension before? Now he is gone and the forces of cleansing moon sect have been pulled up. How can you aren't worried? asked Chen Chiao. Yan Wushi blinked, good Achiao, are you worried about this seed? Although the appearance was not obvious, after all, he will not be confused. But, he still pretends to be cute, really, so shameless. End of the chapter. Stay tuned for more BL.